Welcome to hey, Ghetto Goody got? with J Life. And now. So today we're going to be making a random meatloaf. I just call it random because I just saw some recipes and I'm going to go with what I have. You know, make it my own. So we'll roll with it. Okay. I'm going to use yellow, I mean, not yellow, white onions instead of using yellow. Oh, I like it more. First, I'm going to. Dice down some onions. I'm gonna be dicing this and some peppers so I can mix in with the meat. Doing this for a second. I see. Open this. <laughs> That's one way to do it with your teeth. This is not food sanitary. It is sanitary. <laughs> I'll do that one of each color. Beautiful, beautiful. Wow. Eating colors of the rainbow is very healthy. I'm basically, I'm just going to cut things. So we basically have the onions and the peppers chopped here. I just mix them in a bowl. The meat, I basically bought it from BJ's. You see here, it even says meatloaf already, or meatball. I'm just gonna mix it inside here. So, I think that's the smell of meat. Yes, that's awesome. Okay. I'm trying to see, should I just mix everything? Doesn't matter how you do it, as long as it just spreads out. You will get your hand dirty, so make sure your hands are clean. Yes, I'm doing sure this. That's what I enjoy. <laughs> go. So now I'm basically gonna add this, just what I wanted to add, Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Yes. Worcestershire. You, you trying to say? Worcestershire sauce. I'm just gonna eyeball it and put a good amount. You don't have to do it this way, I'm just doing it this way. She got a little bit of garlic already grinding, minced garlic. Let's put some there, not that much. Put the egg, put the 
egg left. I'll put some ground peppers, hot pepper, some oregano, and some salt. I use sea we use sea salt here. And the last thing I'm gonna add is the egg, which I'm gonna need to break it and then beat it. So, for now. And basically, this is the egg. Let me just go like this. So, okay. This is how it look. You basically just pour it in there. And what does the egg do exactly? I don't know, I guess it's supposed to keep everything together. You know, so it doesn't break apart. And then you just mix it in. Mix it very good, very thorough. And the mixing is gonna go into this pan right here. Yeah, you need to butter the pan or Well this is a non-stick pan. Yeah, but I still put a cooking spray or something like that. There's something extra or like in some recipe that I tell you to add. This is basically just cracker. Really shred it down. You know, I just add it so it can make it a little more thicker so it doesn't break apart. Even though it's non stick, I'm still gonna add those sprays just, just to make sure. Then you basically just get the meat and you have to basically build it around the pan. So it'll look like a meatloaf. So basically this is what it'll look like. You put the oven at 350. You bake for 55 minutes or so. You can put an hour, you can put an hour, five minutes to preheat, and then you wait. Oh, so this is basically what the meatloaf will look like. Yeah. This is already I flipped it over, so the bottom part is the part that's more broiled. So that's basically it. Okay. You gonna take a bite? No, you like you dice it, you cut it to slices. It's a little harder cutting. Is it supposed to be hard to yep. cut? It's soft like slow right there. Let's cut it. Oh a steam though. And then you there's an option you could add any sauce on top. So this we have nice awesome thing of veggies here. Bon appetit! You want me to eat it? <laughs> okay. Actually, really good. Thank you for watching.